This week's deadly hit and run on Auburn Street in Rockford brings attention to that stretch of road. There have been several similar emergencies over the last few years. Drea Baroni spoke with one of the aldermen who serves that area. Andrea, he says a revitalization project already in the works could make Auburn Street safer. Yeah, Eric Mimi, the city plans to spend a portion of their $32 million surplus toward reconstructing Auburn Street, which one alderman says will save taxpayers money and make the streets safer. Really, it's an overall entire facelift. It's not just, you know, doing um, these little tiny things. More than $13 million will be put towards revitalizing Auburn Street. It's the three and a half mile stretch from Veterans Memorial Circle to Springfield Avenue. Half of that budget will be used to replace the nearly 100-year-old water main system. That water main has had multiple breaks in it over the past uh, years. It's cost taxpayers um, hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in cost of replacing it and emergency costs. Alderman Bill Rose says this will help local businesses with flooding issues and could attract others to the area. When we talk about business development in our community, um, having the right infrastructure, um, having the proper water amenities for those businesses can sometimes be the uh, difference for a business to come. But it's not just about new developments. This is designed to improve safety. Concerns by uh, residents is the curb. There sometimes is no curb at all um, to, to keep pe pedestrians separate from the roadway. And so um, the hope is that this uh, plan will address those needs and some of the other various needs around safety, um, driving safety, uh, bike safety, and pedestrian safety. Rose says that could include more consistent sidewalks, bike lanes, and beautification of the area. We want people to drive down Auburn and say, wow, this looks great. And I think that's something when people see this done, they're just going to be more proud of who we are and uh, where we're going as a community. Alderman Rose says these renovations could start as soon as fall of this year. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more about the woman killed earlier this week. Eric, Mimi.